Hey there Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel, the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with a timeless reading. Timeless meaning no matter when you come across this message and it resonates with you, it is for you. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you. <clears throat> Excuse me, and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so I've been feeling a little out of sorts lately. Like, I just don't have the energy or I'm feeling a little... I don't know what it is. I am still getting over having a cold, um, being down for a couple days. So there is that. So it may just be that. I've been sleeping a lot <clears throat> more um, the last week or so, last several days. So hopefully I'm just about to the point. But today I'm feeling pretty amazing, pretty good, up and ready to take on the world. So some of you might be feeling that way too. I don't know, but... Um, the tide is turning is what's coming through here. Okay, the tide is turning. Oh, you've got home coming through. Number 35. Let's get one more. All right, one more. Ooh, and you've got letting go. 26. Okay, so let's get some more information. What about this home? What about home? For Aquarius, oh, see, the star. So you are home. First card out. Let's get another. What else? Nah, Queen of Swords, you see, you can't make that up. Both of these are your energy here. So, and then you got the Empress. Look at that. Big D energy. I don't know. I can't say the whole thing. Oh, let's go ahead and do the letting go. What about the letting go for quite? Oh, Lord. Look at that. You got a lot. All right. Some of you are letting go. <laughs> got the higher font. You got the, oh, wow. Okay. There's that. Bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Swords coming through, okay? So listen, some of you have had a very difficult go of it as of late, okay? Some of you really, um, things have been filling down. But the thing is, this is kind of the overall energy, okay? The thing is, though, for you, when you hit that rock bottom, it, it's like all you can do is come back up. It gives you an opportunity to rise, right? So even if you're at a spot or a place where it feels like you're still at that rock bottom here, Aquarius, this is like, I don't know, a specific, specific, specific message that spirit wants you to hear. Some of you may have felt like you've felt like you've been a failure. Some of you may have felt like, you know, there's this exhaustion, right? Kind of what we just talked about, how I've been feeling as of late, but but I'm in that bounce back, right? Um, sometimes it's health. Sometimes it's the stuff going on around you. Sometimes it's on your own thoughts, right? That kind of take you down and out. But there is that energy of being able to come back or bounce back or having that um, opportunity to, you know, take kind of a space or take a breath or take a time out and then... <clears throat> be able to come back that much stronger, have that opportunity to bounce back, have that opportunity to rise up above. And that's what this really feels like. Okay. Some of you, it's just time you felt maybe like you uh, weren't <clears throat> making strides or weren't making the movements or weren't moving fast enough or, or somebody betrayed you or something happened. Okay. Um, and this message is specifically for you. Okay. This is specifically for you. This is coming through at this time for you, Aquarius, if you're called into this because you really, really need to hear this. And it feels very much personal as well, like a personal message, a personal specific kind of reading, even where I feel included in this, because as I talked about before the cards even came out, <laughs> this is kind of how I've been feeling. But today I'm feeling a little bit better. And so I can't be the only one, right? I can't be the only one. And that's why this needs to come through for all of us during this time. All right. Also, we're going to get one of these at the end that might give a little bit more information. So stay for that. Now, the first card that came out here is home. It's number 35. So number 35. Some of you have been feeling as if you're um, coming back to a space within yourself that feels like home. Okay. For some of you, it, it feels like um, 
you maybe lost your way or lost yourself with, with whatever specifically this pertains to for you. Um, and you kind of got separated or disconnected from yourself, from yourself, from your, your body, right? There's times where, um, we're not really connected with our own bodies. We're not connected with our own selves. It's almost as if we get up and we do things, we're on autopilot and we don't really, um, have any emotion or have any feeling or have any, um, even kind of thoughts. Sometimes we're like meh, right? Um, but this is really coming through with this energy of coming back to yourself, coming back home because, right, you have this home card reconnecting, going back home, feeling that comfort, feeling that joy, feeling connected with yourself within yourself is what's coming through here. But not only that, it's being confirmed by both the star card and the Queen of Swords, which are both you. So Aquarius, if you had any question whether this was possible, whether you could come back home or whether you could come back into yourself, have a deeper understanding or have that reconnection, Spirit is indicating, yes, there is hope, Aquarius. Be truthful to yourself. Speak truth to yourself. Be honest with yourself. But you are that rising star. You are the show. You are the one, okay? You were the one that was born under that lucky star. This lucky star. You are that star, you see? So Spirit's indicating that, Aquarius, you are coming home and it is a time for you to come home. It is a time for you to come back to yourself either, right? Because both of these are a version of you, okay? <clears throat> both of these are a version of you. M male, female, non-gender specific, it's about the energy, but both of these are a version of you and you are coming home, coming back into that connection, coming back into that big D energy. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm putting out there, but you're coming back into yourself. You're having that connection, that that understanding, that re-birthing um, is coming through here of who it is that you are. There's that renewal coming through that, that energy of feeling inspired. It's as if you um, are here, right? Because swords energy is your energy, of course. So it's like you are here, but this is where you're moving into. You're moving into this energy of, of renewal, rebirth, which we talked about earlier, being rejuvenated, being, um, you know, renewed, having this inspiration to jump back up and get back on the bandwagon, right? But it's taking you being able to feel as if you're coming back home to yourself, that comfort, that joy, that, right? And, and I realized that not everybody's home life was that way. But that is how this energy is coming through, coming home to yourself, okay? Coming home to yourself, having that energy of really, really moving into the space of um, being almost completed, right? With that Queen of Swords, almost as if your your mind is clear, you've, you've opened up, you're ready, you've got this objective, independent kind of energy around you, that Queen of Swords energy, and you're in the space of being like, you know what? Uh, even though something, you know, sometimes there's, there's some complexity or sometimes there's this energy of, of, you know, um, almost this, this brutal truth when I can do that and be that and open up and, and share that and connect with myself in that way, then I also move into this Empress energy, right? Which is you as well, Aquarius, right? Um, because you, um, you are this big, big energy, Okay. You are this big, big energy. You get to be this true, beautiful, shining light, this really, really bright star. And some of you have felt as if you've been away from that. Some of you have maybe been feeling like you've been disconnected sometimes, um, or some of you may have been feeling as if you are, um, I don't know, like aging or right now the Empress is actually, um, Libra Taurus energy, but you may have placements there, but this is the energy that you are coming into is the Empress energy. You're coming into this energy of just being and holding and being okay with and being held, right? It's as if you are really, um, allowing yourself to just be that, that very um, nurturing energy, that very graceful energy, that very caring energy with and for yourself, okay? This is bringing about this energy of um, creating healthy boundaries, right? Not allowing um, whatever puts you in this place to, to be and or taking the learnings and the lessons and moving up and moving forward with it, right? Um, but also this energy coming through with really having um, almost this 
this energy of feeling abundant, right? Feeling, holding your head high, feeling proud. That is what is coming through, of course. You are coming home to yourself. Now, with coming home does require, this is number 26, letting go, okay? We have to let go of all the things that don't benefit, that don't support, that bring us down, that make us feel bad, the thoughts, the limitations, the beliefs that we're holding on to. We have to let go of all of that because when we are creating our own home, our own comfort, our own self, coming home to ourselves, that connection, that, re, that rebirthing, that renewal, that rejuvenize, rejuvenation, right? Uh, after kind of this down um, energy or this hitting rock bottom or this betrayal, whatever it may be specifically for you, there's a lot that we have to let go of. We learn things, we create defense mechanisms, we move into spaces or, or hold on to limitations or beliefs that aren't even ours, that belong to other people, but for some reason we have held on to and we have to let that go. So with that Aquarius, you have this energy of letting go of um, a potential person, okay, there's this union here. Um, so letting go of a union that wasn't specific, wasn't meant for you, wasn't really it. It's almost as if it was something that just felt comfortable or felt known, but it was toxic and it was a cycle that you kept going through. That could be within yourself or it could be with somebody else, but this union that was created or this meshing is the word coming through here is something that needs to be let go of, right? Now, this two of cups is generally a beauty, a beautiful energy, really planning, um, really having this energy of of coming together, of having this connection. Um, but whatever this specific one is one that's, that is a kind of a meshing and it's not healthy. And so it's time to let that go. Okay. Now with that letting go, you're learning the lessons with that Hierophant. You're learning the lessons. You're learning um, kind of what it was. You're looking at the beliefs, the limitations that potentially have been put on. And those are where you're going to be releasing. Who are the people that have been um, kind of giving you insight or information or talking to you or telling you things? And is it stuff that should be listened to? Is it stuff that feels trustworthy now that you're on the other side or moving back on the other side where you're feeling more connected? Is that something that really is beneficial to you now? Okay. And is it with the new knowledge, with what you have now, with what you're gaining, with what you're understanding, with what you're beginning to see as you come home, as you have that faith, of you have that renewal, is it really benefiting you? Because if not, then it's time to let go all of all of that and look back into your legacy. What is it that you're wanting to create? What is it that you're wanting to leave behind? Because, um, you know, whatever this toxic potential relationship was, uh, it's probably not that. Okay. It's probably not that. And you're on that rise. You're rising up above now, Aquarius. So take all of that information, all of that energy and begin to create a legacy. Okay. With that, you also have the page of swords. Now also with the eight of, uh, eight of wands here, the page of swords and the eight of wands, you're going to be receiving communication, a message, uh, potentially very, very soon. Now, if we look at this, a lot of these cards are sword energy. Okay. A lot. You have you as the Queen of Swords. You've got the Ten of Swords. You've got the Page of Swords. A lot of the cards are Swords energy. So some of you are very much up in your mind as well. But with this Page of Swords energy, you're going to, there, somebody is curious or feels restless, okay? Um, this is probably actually your energy. You're feeling curious, feeling restless, ready to have some mental energy, some mental clarity, okay? And with that, it's time to let go of the energy of of just feeling um, like you always have to be on defense or always have to be on alertness, okay? There is going to be a message coming through. There is communication that is coming in <coughs> here rather quickly with that aid of wands. And there's going to be some very quick movement, okay? Quick decisions, but you have to make sure that the quick decisions or the sudden changes that are coming through requires require or involve, not require, but involve letting go of what no longer benefits you. Okay. What no longer benefits you. If, if you're holding on to things in your mind, if you're really not being honest and truthful, it's time to let that go. If you're holding on to limitations to other people's beliefs, to beliefs that are outdated, right? Um, it's time to let that go. We need a shift in perspective. We need to really, really, um, turn things around. If for some of you, this is going to require, um, or it's being indicated that you, you need to just look in the mirror and really adore who you are. Okay. For others of you, it's really going to take getting up and out of the house, um, 
having dates or, or even play dates, which sounds really, really silly, but it's like getting back out there, getting back out there, getting back into the world, um, doing things, dressing different or, or dressing up or bathing, even something to really, really kind of move you, um, and allow for that almost feeling of luxury, like pampering yourself and giving grace for yourself, loving on yourself, right? Letting go of all of that, that feels like it's been begging, um, not begging, but well, begging for your attention almost, but also bogging you down. That's been keeping you feeling as if you're stuck or whatever, letting go of all of that and moving back into that energy of home, into that energy of you, right? Into that renewal, into that nurturing, that caring, that graceful energy. And you're going to see that this, um, time, this month, this week, whatever it has been that you may have felt a little bit down or a little bit um, disconnected or this year or the several years, once you move back into that energy of reconnection, of feeling at home, of putting yourself first, which many of you have put off for a long time and put others above you, putting yourself first, you're going to begin to really, really see just how amazing you are for some of you that have forgotten it. Okay. Now, this is called the soul's truth. It says, who can I serve today? And the answer, what, even without turning this around, we just talked about that, is you. How can you serve yourself today? How can you stand up for yourself today? How can you rise up within or reconnect with yourself today? Aquarius, how can you embrace yourself? How can you love yourself? How can you hold yourself? How can you keep yourself safe? How can you allow yourself to understand that you can rise back up from this Ten of Swords energy that some of you or many of you may feel like you're in. Okay. Now the actual thing on the other side here says in a world lacking soul to soul connection, small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. Okay. So you remember that for yourself as well. Allow yourself to um, weep if you need to allow yourself to laugh, watch a funny movie, watch a sad movie. Get yourself some chocolates, buy yourself dinner, take yourself to a movie, do something because it's the small things that can make really big and lasting impacts. Okay. Now this is talking about you, um, helping other people, but you need to help yourself first as well. You can't give from an empty cup. Okay. It says we shift our own pain and experience an avalanche of love. Uh, when we lose ourselves in the service of others who need you today, you see, um, who needs you today, Aquarius? But the answer coming through here is you. Okay. This is a time for you to reconnect, to come home to yourself. Okay. When you are feeling a little bit better, when you feel like your cup is full, when you've rested, when you allowed for that hope to be renewed, um, then it's time to get out and help others because that gets us out of our own way and out of our own thoughts, out of our own mind. Okay. <clears throat> it says today's soul action. Listen to your heart. Who needs you? Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when serving others and when serving yourself, when you put yourself first as well. Okay. It, it has to start with self and then it moves outward. And so when you begin to feel better, of course, you will realize, you will see just how much more amazing it feels when you give um, outside of yourself and to others because you'll have much more to give. All right. Gorgeous. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. I'm sending you all so much love, so much joy, and so much just uh, warm hugs uh, if you're going through this or if you're coming out the other side of it, we all get to be cherished. We all are fabulous, amazing, wonderful beings. And, you know, I just adore you all so much. So thank you all so, so much for being here. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.